There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? It's a wig video, you guys. It's cheap. It's synthetic. It's here. Let's do this. So let's get it popping. Okay. Yes. So I actually worked with this website before. You go check them out. Go ahead. Check them out. Um, they got a bunch of wigs, but I will say this. Like out of 100 wigs, like 90 of them are by Main Concept. You know, Main Concept, Red Carpet. Um those are their wigs it seems like they specialize in those wigs so you could definitely check them out they do have like a lot of them um i did not know main concept made that many wigs so many different styles you know what i'm saying you know they have the different collections brown sugar red carpet you know you name it they got it so you want to check out this website which is new york city or nyc express trends.com nyc trends or nyc express trends.com that's a long one nyc express trends.com like, honestly, I really thought it was like a clothing boutique online until I looked. I really didn't know which wig I was going to do today because I was just like, you know, I don't really know which one I want to do. And I'm like really admiring these lashes that I got on. Like, okay, so first of all, let me tell you about these lashes in case you guys want to know. These lashes are so pretty. Um, I will definitely link it below. This is by a boutique online called Lashed by Dominique. Lashed by Dominique. Um, they did send me two pair. I was able to pick these out these are the ones called rich bitch though i wish i was okay but yes these are really nice okay so yeah i'm like feeling these so i'll definitely link it below for you guys in case you want like some lashes or something i didn't really know which wig i was gonna do because i do have three of them so i decided to do this one for today normally i'll do all three of them but i'm not really in the mood to do three wigs back to back and then post the one i want so i'm just gonna do one today so this is by the red carpet it's called olivia olivia the color that i got is creamy blondes like hello creamy blondes i love the color creamy blondes because it's a very pretty subtle blonde color especially by main concept i do have like a couple of their wigs that are called creamy blonde and let me tell you something they are a very pretty color so if you want a creamy blonde wig girl get you one like seriously get you one just from the looks of the actual cardstock i was like okay this girl this girl don't look like she got no kind of parting going on like I don't know how this parting is going to work out for me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just try it. So I opened it up and I was like really shocked. Like when I took it out the box, I was super duper shocked. Like they didn't even, they just said crescent shape. They didn't even say like it was going to look like really nice. So it's a crescent shape part. You know, it's an off center part. It's like, you know, a side part or whatever. But they did not say that it was going to look this deep and this nice shut the front door this is what she looks like this is what she is looking like you guys i do like the way that they did this lace hello now from the cardstock it didn't look like there was much parting like it didn't look like you was going to see the parting it looked very full and like a girl was going to have to tweeze and if you cannot find a main concept on any other website i guarantee you you are going to find it on theirs from the looks of it it's probably about 22 inches um it's silky hair you know what i'm saying so it's not like a yakky or a kinky texture it's a silky texture and it has soft lace and it's a right-sided curved part which they call crescent and it has the norm, the combs right here. I hate when they put them here. And I wish companies would stop doing that. But I'm going to just shut up and mind my business. Um, and then you have the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape area. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do this wig video. Hopefully, this works out for a girl because...
know it like you. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's just get into Olivia real quick because, okay, I have mixed feelings. Like seriously, I have mixed feelings about this wig. <laughs> okay. So I have like mixed feelings about this wig. Like for real, for real, seriously. Um, now the color is banging. Like I like the color a lot. I don't know why I feel like a sun kissed Malibu girl right about now, but the thickness up here I can do without. To me, it seems like with the red carpet collection, I just feel like in my honest heart that there is not 100% work put into the, like the red carpet. Like there's like 90 or 85 only because like the experiences that I've experienced with their red carpet collection is like, I don't really care for the red carpet too much because of the hairline or the parting, you know what I'm saying? So I like this wig, but I'm having mixed feelings about it because I feel like it's so thick right here, you know? Now it is heat friendly, so you can definitely like take your flat iron or your hot curler and just press it up against the hairline. Not Don't go raking through it, like just hold it, press it. You know, you can even put a warm cloth on it, okay? And then put the hot curler over it or the wand, the curling wand, and then, you know, press it. That's what I would do. And that's what I've done. Like, you know what I'm saying? Take yourself a wet cloth. It could be warm. I would, I would just do warm cloth, not soaking wet, but just, you know, wring it out. So that way it's not water dripping all over the place and just put it on the hairline and then take your curling wand on the highest temperature and put that on top of it and let it just let it sit there. So that way it can just train the synthetic hair. Because I think like to me, this portion is so thick. And if you guys seen, I just, take my hairspray and I just kept stroking it back and stroking it back and the other thing that I'm not like a huge fan of is where they put this crescent shaped off center part at now listen I don't know about you guys but for me if it ain't in the middle it's gonna either have to be on the left or on the right I can't really have it off centered and be curved because it just gives me like this weird look that you know what I'm saying it's in the middle but it's not really in the middle. Like this part starts in the middle. It just looks like a crooked part to me. I like the color. I like the density of it. Even the hair is not so silky to where it's like, oh my God, girl, she got on some plastic hair. It's not like that. It's It kind of looks like it can be human hair, but we already know it's not. Okay. I just don't like the way they have all this thickness up here. And then there are baby hairs included in this unit if you are interested, but they're very sparingly, like they're so sparingly, you go, you girl, you be like, girl, where, where's the baby hairs at? Mm, that's a newborn. That was not baby hairs. Those are fetus hairs. Yes, those are fetus hairs. But the color blend is gorgeous. This is the SR4 slash Creamy Blonde. You know, I like the way they gradually went into the Creamy Blonde, which is a good thing. So it gives it some dimension. It's just not like splat right there and you looking like a hot mess. So, you know, but this Creamy Blonde goes nice with a girl complexion is like... I just thought I would take some selfies real quick for you guys. So the big chunky body waves in it is very pleasing. Like I like the waves in it. It gives like this natural flow, you know what I'm saying? You could just like rock it. Um, it will fit average size heads and someone's head who is a little bit bigger. But if you got like one of these big bulger heads and then a whole bunch of hair too alongside of that girl, please, you're not even getting into this wig. Overall experience, the wig is still freaking cute like you know what i'm saying you just gotta finagle it finesse it work through it hunties like you know what i'm saying like look just like this but you know there you go see they also sent me these two other wigs i wasn't really sure which one i wanted to do next so i'm just gonna let you guys choose this is the red carpet premiere and this is the ear to ear you're the main character lace wig so this one has 13 by 4 inch parting is hand tied and the color i have is number two and this one is called legend so this one is called legend and this is the 13 by 4 inch parting and it's natural hand tie. So this probably may look really, really natural. And then the next one that I have is um, 
Kaya, I think that's called. And I have it in the color 1B. And she's more or less like a wavy style. So, you guys, I have Kaya Legend. So, we're just going to call her K. Just like K. The letter K. We got K and we got Legend. So, choose one. This is this is Legend, the straight one. The 13 by 4 inch parting. And then this one right here. Um, I don't really know what kind of parting this has. Because it's definitely not saying. But, I mean, if it was something. This looks like the regular parting. So let me know, Legend or K, K or Legend, which one you want me to review next. Let me know your thoughts on this Olivia wig right here. I'm telling you guys, if you like press this down, like with the with the hot curler, I'm telling you, it'll 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 lay much flatter than this. Had I known this before the video, I would have definitely done that. Oh, I love you, stay diva and delicious. Let me know what you think of Olivia. I gotta go. I gotta go to the post office. I'll see you guys in a soon to come video. Make sure you check the description box below. Leave your comments and choose the next week from NYC Express Trends that I will record for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Uh -huh.